From Taylor and Joe's top secret romance. Ooh, to the jaw-dropping revival of Jelena. This year was filled with new celeb couples, steamy hookups, and lots of babies. All that and more on today's Best of 2017 Brenda. Aaron, we can literally talk about celeb hookups for hours, but <laughs> we narrowed down the list to some of our faves. Yeah, topping this list though is Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas's surprise engagement this year. Joe and Sophie started dating just last year and their whirlwind romance quickly turned into an engagement on October 15th of this year. Joe announced the engagement so cutely via Instagram with a photo of Sophie's ring and their hands embracing and he captioned it simply saying she said yes. Congrats are also in order for Joe's ex Taylor Swift who found herself with another Joe this year, British actor Joe Alwyn. After Taylor's messy breakup from Calvin Harris and Tom Hiddleston last year, Taylor retracted from the spotlight and started secretly dating her new Prince Charming. T Swift revealed she's happier than ever in her new song, Call It What You Want, and then detailed how they met in her track, Gorgeous. You should take it as a compliment that I got drunk and made fun of the way you talk. Well, the heart wants what it wants, yeah. Immediately following Selena Gomez's split from the weekend, Jelena was back on, which is so freaking surprising, and fans cannot seem to get enough of this couple, and this couple can't seem to get enough of each other. I mean, we can kind of end this whole best stuff now because Jelena's back, so. <laughs> no, 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 we have so much more to talk about. Okay, fine. Let's go to one of my faves, Adele. So this year, Adele and Simon Konecki's relationship proved to be tighter than ever. In fact, Adele revealed at the Grammys this year during her acceptance speech for Album of the Year that the two had secretly gotten married. Watch Adele accidentally spill the beans when she tosses out the word husband. Grammys, I appreciate it. The Academy, I love you. My manager, my husband, and my son. You're the only reason I do it. Thank you so much. Despite tons of rumors that Tom Holland and Zendaya started dating this year, the couple continues to deny that relationship. They formed a really tight bond, you guys know, while filming Spider-Man Homecoming together and flying around the world together on a press tour, which led many people to believe that there was more than just a close friendship going on. And we're not sure that this ever was an actual relationship, but our minds, they were a cute couple while the tabloids lasted. Well, Zendaya's fellow Disney star, Dove Cameron, found a new man this year and her descendants to co-star Thomas Dover the chemistry was so apparent while filming that it was actually the cast and director, Kenny Ortega, who convinced them to start dating. Aww. Speaking of onset romance, Riverdale's Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt are still trying to keep their relationship private. Fans started to notice that these two were acting a little, a little bit more than just friends when they kept posing next to each other in group photos, and they were getting super flirty on social media, and after they couldn't keep their hands off of each other at a Comic-Con party in July. Well, it's definitely a good year to be Sam Smith. The singer returned to the music scene with a brand new album and was spotted with a brand new man. Get yours, Sam. Fans knew something was up with Sam was spotted kissing 13 Reasons Why actor Brandon Flynn in New York City and soon after Sam confirmed he was in a relationship on The Ellen Show. You're not single right now anymore, right? No, I'm not. Good, good for Which you. It's crazy. But... Well, it's weird bringing out an album and not being single. Because yeah. when I brought it in The Lonely Hour, I was so lonely. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm singing songs about this another guy but I'm quite happy, so it's quite yeah. weird. And <laughs> Demi Lovato and longtime lover Wilmer Valderrama, they split last year, you guys probably remember, but shortly after, Demi came out as bisexual on the Chatty Man Show, and she proudly explored her options this year. And we're not totally sure who Demi is dating this week, but in early September, she was seen holding hands at Disneyland with DJ producer Lauren Abedini. And then in November, rumors heated up of Demi dating Ryan Phillippe. Well, Demi definitely explored the scene, and so did Bella Thorne. Um, so we're gonna- A lot of scenes. Yeah, yeah. So Bella Thorne was linked to many celebs this year after splitting from Greg Sulkin last year, including Tyler Posey, Charlie Puth, Scott Disick, and YouTuber Tana Mojo. Tana's dreams came true after she tweeted, I wanna date Bella Thorne next, and then. Tons of photos of the ladies kissing surfaced online, but it seems that the gals are only friends because shortly after, Bella confirmed that she's now dating rapper Mod Sun. I wish it were that easy. You just tweet out something that you want and then it just happens. Right, like I've said before, I want a million dollars. 
I feel like you should tweet. Have you tweeted it yet? No, I'll try it. You should try that because it. it might actually happen for you in 2018. But more than just hookups and romances this year, there were a lot of babies that came out of love in Hollywood. And here's a little roundup. The biggest surprise of the year, no doubt, came from Beyonce and Jay-Z when they announced via Instagram that they were expecting twins. And they welcomed Sir Carter and Rumi on June 13th. And we were living not only for the pregnancy announcement photo that she posted on Instagram, but also the baby announcement photo. I mean, thematic it doesn't get better than Beyonce. Absolutely obsessed. I still go back to her page every now and then and just like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congrats are also in order for Nikki Reed and Ian Somerhalder, who welcomed baby girl Bodhi Salil in August. The couple stunned many by announcing one month of silence following the birth, which included no visitors and no cell phones for one whole month. Couldn't do it. The baby or the cell phone? <laughs> well, I don't know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. I, 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 my cell phone is my baby. Yeah. What, what do you mean? Exactly. You know what I mean? Okay. And other birthing news. Equally as shocking was Liam Payne and Cheryl giving birth to a baby boy named Bear in March. And after spending most of 2016 denying the pregnancy, they finally let it loose and showed this photo to the world. All right, guys. Who do you think should take their relationship to the next level in 2018? Well, Aaron, I'm going to enlist your help. We need to set up a campaign, GoFundMe or something. Okay. Um, so we can <laughs> afford to be the wedding planners for Jelena's wedding. That will happen in 2018. Well, usually the celebrities pay the wedding planners. Okay, but here's the thing. I don't think they're going to actually pay <laughs> us. So I feel like an unofficial thing and, you know, we can create a website mm. and we have to look okay. official. Okay, Just I'm get back sure to me on that. that plan, but uh, I actually want to see Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn. Ah. I, they could possibly get engaged next yeah. year. That's yeah. what I'm feeling. I'm sensing that in the energy in the air at the end of 2017. Okay. 2018, make it happen. Let us know what you think, guys. Who is your favorite hookup this year? Favorite couple? Do you have any uh, baby that you really were obsessed with? Let us know in the comments section below. And of course, thanks so much for watching. Have a great happy holiday. My favorite song. Happy, happy holidays. holidays. All the merry. Merry bells keep ringing. Happy holidays to you. We should take the show. Go fund me for our music careers. That's what we should have. Aaron and Emil coming at you soon with an album. <laughs> For more quick love to see the biggest Hollywood breakups of 2017. Or write for the biggest fails of the year on DHR's Best of 2017. 